Hello everyone and welcome to another LEGO Star Wars review. Uh, got a short and sweet review to do for you today. I'm going to give you a look at one of the small battle packs from the 2012 range of LEGO Star Wars products. And uh, it is this one. The Endo Rebel Troopers vs Imperial Troopers Battle Pack. Um, it's a very small and basic set. Um, only a few um, very simple pieces included with this one. Uh, as you can see you get this sort of tree-like bunker um, with a cannon. Uh, a couple of Endo Troopers and an Imperial Stormtrooper and also included in the set is a speeder bike and a Scout Trooper so a very natty little set and uh, obviously if you're familiar with these sets they don't set you back too much um, so they're a decent build and nice little display pieces as well so I'll talk about those in a bit more detail in just a bit but first off let's take a look at the packaging that they come in here it is uh, obviously with this being a 2012 product we still have the Darth Maul um, packaging design, um, which obviously this year uh, has been replaced by uh, the Yoda uh, style packaging. As you can see there, you've got the product itself set up in a fantasy situation. And on the back you've got some more images as well. Uh, what Lego set would be complete without an instruction manual? Um, once again, a very simple set so it's not that hard to fathom out how to build this one you just get the step-by-step -step guides in there on how to construct the set so there we go that is the packaging and the contents now onto the set itself uh, we'll begin by taking a look at the uh, tree bunker sort of playset element of the set um, as you can see it does come with two rebel troopers which are very nicely designed I'll give you a look at those first uh, this one is probably my favourite of the two. Um, got a clean shaven look for the trooper. He also comes with a pair of macro binoculars and a blaster pistol. And he's got some really cool printing on his torso there. Real love those Endo trooper helmets as well. Just to give you a closer look at this figure. Just take a, a zoom in on him. Get him in a bit more detail there. It's only small hints of camouflage on the figure's um, body detail, but cool nonetheless. Very nice figure. Um, the next one is a bit more rugged, and as you can see, got a bit of stubble on his face there. Once again, they're a very nice figure. This one just comes with a blaster rifle, and again, has some cool printing on the torso there. This one's got a few more ammo pouches and what have you. And again, comes with the Rebel Trooper helmet. So a very cool figure again. And uh, the third and final figure involved with the tree bunker element of the set is, of course, this guy, the Imperial Stormtrooper. I've seen this guy multiple times in various sets, although this is my first uh, LEGO Stormtrooper. Very, very cool figure once again. Uh, the last time I owned one of these was way back in sort of 2002 and back then you didn't really get um, the same amount of detail that you get in these new figures um, so compared to the older style of figures obviously the vents have been painted in the mouth and you've got various different aspects of detail printed on this figure again comes with a blaster rifle and you can see some of that printed detail there on the torso and on the back so another very cool figure and as I said, you can uh, sort of pose all these guys in the bunker. And obviously it's the rebels that sort of operate the uh, the cannon that's on the front, which does have a firing missile. As you can see, the cannon does rotate. And you just flick the missile at the back there and it goes firing out. It's quite a cool uh, little play set there. Try and get all those guys in one shot for you. Oops. A cool little set there. As you can see, the, the bunker itself is a very sort of primitive, basic design. Got four circular elements or four corner elements that make up the base. Uh, you've got a rail here at the back, which is quite cool because you can insert the blasters in there. So when the 
troopers are operating the cannon, you can just store all the weapons in there. Got some sort of plant life aspects to the design of it as well. A couple of plants at the front there, and of course the tree at the top. And overall, it's just a cool little set. Um, if anything, it serves more as a sort of a display stand um, to put your figures on, uh, rather than a play set in itself. Although it will go quite nice with the, I believe it's sort of the big Ewok sort of treehouse thing um, that was made available a couple of years back. Uh, this is a nice small set to complement that. So that's that aspect of the set. Very cool. And next up we do have speed bike with the biker scout trooper figure. And I'll just remove him from the bike and give you a closer look at him. Um, again like with the stormtrooper I haven't owned one of these guys since around 2002 and from what I can remember they're basically the same design. Um, nothing much has changed with the helmet. It still looks a bit oversized for my liking. And there's not as much printed detail on this one as there is on the Stormtrooper. You've got a very basic print on the front there, and on the back there's no detail whatsoever. Uh, one cool element about the figure though is that you, when you remove the helmet, <coughs> as you can see you've got this black um, sort of colour on the front. When you put the helmet on, that operates as sort of the visor or the goggles of the helmet. Although on the back of the helmet, or on the back of the head, sorry, you do have this printed clone face, which is very cool. And you get that on the Stormtrooper as well. I'll give you a look at that in a second. Um, so that's quite cool. Um, it does work better having the uh, the black print um, facing forwards, as when you put the face facing forwards, it just looks a little bit weird. Um, so yeah, it's better to have it sort of that way, as you get a more accurate design. So that's the Biker Scout, he comes with a blaster pistol as well and he can very easily be set up on the speeder bike, like so. The speeder bike again um, has evolved somewhat from the previous design from the early 2000s. Um, the main section of the speeder bike is now made up of a Lego motorcycle, obviously with the wheels removed and replaced with these um, bits of landing gear and obviously the front portion of the speeder bike. Um, nothing much to it, no firing missiles or anything like that. At the back there you've got the uh, the Lego rucksack uh, which attaches to the back and uh, I've used that as a makeshift sort of blaster storage area um, so that the figure can hold the handlebars with both hands uh, which is quite cool. You've got these adjustable panels at the front as well which is nice. And overall it's a very nice design. Um, wouldn't mind getting my hands on a couple more of these and maybe a uh, Luke Skywalker and Princess Leia in their endo gear just to give chase to a couple of these. I think that would look quite cool. Um, but yeah, very nice design and again, basic, simple but effective. So I really like it. As I said, the Stormtrooper that is included in the set also has the printed face which I'm hoping you're getting a good look at there. So that's quite nice. Most of the Imperial Troopers, so they uh, snow troopers, the attack drivers, uh, stormtroopers, biker scouts, all those kind of troopers have this same face in the more recent sets. Obviously the helmet just pops on like that. So all in all, a pretty getting tongue tied. A pretty natty little set, quite cool. Um, again, I like to think of this more as a display sort of area for your minifigures rather than a play set in itself um, but it's quite cool um, if you're on a budget you know if you can't afford to collect some of the larger scale sets then these are quite nice in themselves and you get some cool minifigures with them as well so uh, not all bad uh, and I really do like these and I think Lego have done a nice job with this set so I'd highly recommend picking it up if you're into the smaller sets and uh, definitely the pack is worth it alone for these two cool Endor Troopers So there we go, that is the uh, Rebel Troopers versus Imperial Troopers Battle Pack from uh, Lego Star Wars from last year, 2012, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this set. I'll be back with more Lego reviews and Hasbro reviews in the very near future, so stay tuned for all of those, and until next time, as always, I want to thank you for watching, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.